So this is where Admiral Nagumo and his staff would have been when they were forced to uh, evacuate by the fires that were raging there. This is the moment the Japanese warship Akagi is seen for the first time since it sank 81 years ago. Submersibles operating almost five kilometres below the ocean's surface have allowed researchers to conduct extensive surveys of two Japanese aircraft carriers, the Akagi and Kaga, and the USS Yorktown. The two Japanese aircraft carriers are about a 10 miles apart from one another. Uh, and in fact, so there were there were four aircraft carriers, Japanese, that were all cl close together. And, and they, they basically, that's how they, they operated uh, in this tight formation. The, the USS Yorktown is about 100 miles away from that site. All three sank in the Battle of Midway in June 1942, when the Imperial Japanese Navy launched an unsuccessful attack to destroy what was left of the US Pacific Fleet following their attack on Pearl Harbor. The five-day battle at the Midway Atoll resulted in the deaths of more than 3,000 Japanese and 300 US servicemen. The Battle of Midway set the pattern for other sea battles which followed in the Pacific. Julian Hodges is one of the last living veterans who served on the USS Yorktown. After the carrier was downed, he swam six hours with a dislocated shoulder until he was rescued. But boy, she took a beating. And uh, I just, uh, well, I almost, I brought tears to my eyes. I'll be truthful about it. it I just hated to see my ship torn up like that. After each dive, the crew held ceremonies to honour the men who died at the site. Just want to honour the vessel and all of those who sailed on this vessel. And the battle site may still have secrets yet to be revealed. When you look at the action reports and what we know about the battle, those obviously came in, in times of distress, in times of chaos, in terms of the battle. Um, and so the, those, those historic records are not always as clear as, as you want them. The international team that undertook the surveys hope the new data will help shed light on what happened during the pivotal battle. Madison Watt, ABC News.